Let me just say, in this neighborhood, well, the police have this thing where they like want to drive by and then be like, hey you, over a megaphone, <laughs> yeah, you with the sign, get out of here. But, you know, I guess that, uh, you know, that doesn't strictly apply to me, but something happened. I was given not one, but two two-dollar bills. Now the guy even said, well, hey, buddy, now you're twice as lucky. So, I need to really do something special. So, do I give them away as a pair, or do I uh, uh, give them away one at a time, because they're twos? I guess that, uh, you know, I'll just... Uh, probably give them away as a pair, just because I kind of got in the habit of doing that using other denominations. Now, uh, I guess other than that, uh, let's see, what's the, what's the damn it, there's an, oh yeah, yeah, Bolt House Farm root juice is really good stuff. They also have the darn golden vegetable, but you know, the main thing is, it's like no sugar added. Now, so it's like if you're drinking the squash juice or the, uh, let's see, what's this one? It's, yeah, yeah, yellow tomatoes, yellow carrot, pumpkin and butternut squash and sweet potato and sweet whole kernel corn. And then this one is beets, purple carrots, purple sweet potato, lettuce, watercress, spinach, and parsley. But there's no sugar, so they have this really vegetable kind of taste. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know, I kind of like it myself. I'm a big fan of the veggies. I guess, uh, I didn't work out twice yesterday, but I did get a new sweatsuit that I haven't put on yet. And I'm d debating, you know, with myself whether I should deposit the other... 15 bucks in the bank, or if I should go and buy a, a second, you know, sweatsuit. I mean, I'm still wearing the ragged, dirty one from the whore. I'm going to eventually throw this away. I guess, uh, or you know what else I need is like uh, underwear. And that's like 10 bucks. So basically, anyway, you slice it. Uh, I can either spend all the money on clothes or deposit it in the bank. Apart from that, I've got two bucks for coffee. At some point, I really am going to want a swimsuit as well. Now that I have, you know, like the bicycle, you know, and with it the means to carry these kinds of things. You know, I just have a little bag on the back and, uh, you know, I guess it's, uh, it's fun. Let's see, what else is there? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, now I went to the open mic again. And do you know what? In the back of the coffee house, they've taken out all the seating and put in a ping pong table. And so, uh, you know, I met this guy named Jesse. And this guy named Jesse, which is my name too, by the way, kind of like the John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt thing. But anyway, his name was Jesse. And so, uh, but anyway, me and him played a nice long game of ping pong. But later that day, Okay, I was at the gym, and I saw this chick, you know, with like a big, muscly leg. Well, not, they weren't that big, you know. She, it's just, you know, super athletic with muscly legs, a thigh gap, just a really hot-looking chick. And I was like, damn, chick, you look like you work out all the time. And uh, she was like, oh, yeah, I do. And I was like, are you some kind of an athlete or something? You have such a formed and well-sculptured physique. She was like, well, yeah, actually, I am. I'm a tennis player. And so isn't that kind of funny that I was playing table tennis and then I met a tennis player. Anyway, tennis was also on TV all that day, so I guess there's a lot of tennis going on in the world. I guess uh, her name was Michaela, by the way. Don't necessarily suspect I'll run into her again or that I would recognize her in a gym unless she was like just dressed similarly or something. I don't know. It's like chicks that look like that are, are, are around. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that, uh, I don't know. 
Uh, I mean, well, I saw the movie Sully. I also saw the movie Ice Age Collision Course. And you know what? In the terms, or at least, you know, like if I were to compare Ice Age Collision Course to Sausage Party, it seems like Jews, and I'm just not... Yeah, anyway, Jews, they just seem to want to tack on villains. It's like their villains make no sense. I mean, it's like I don't think that the douche was a was a darn convincing villain in the, uh, or a convincing enough villain or something. And, uh, I don't know, I thought the dinosaur birds were weird as far as villains go and, uh, I don't know, maybe I just want too much. <laughs> it's like, uh, I think, though, villains should be like one of us or something. Anyway, I also heard from my friend John after years and years. And, you know, he basically called me up, told me I was a bum, and then went on to describe all the money his parents had left him. You know, he was like, well, you should come and live here, and then you can work, and you'd have a place to stay, and, you know, I'd pay you for all your... And it's like, look, John, I'll tell everybody on the Internet what I told him. John, okay, for all the years we've been friends and all the shit I've done for you over the years, you should give me a couple of hundred bucks just for being your friend. You know, just because you can, because, you know, that's what friends do when their ship comes in and they win the lottery or something. Now, uh... Or it's what I would do, or would have done if I was still living there or something. I don't know. I might have done it anyway if I thought he had any kind of need, you know, but he has a damn uh, check from the government. And so now he's trying to spend this huge fortune before, uh, you know, so his check can be reinstated. And, uh, I don't know, like I said. And then, you know, it's like, he went on a video, he's like, oh, my friend Jesse lives on the streets, and he even sent that to me on, uh, you know, like a, a video message. But the point is that, uh, well, like I said, John, he's a good friend, but I don't want to go and live there, and I really don't, uh, well, like I said, if he wants to brag about all his money, that's fine, but... Uh, I guess at least he did something nice for Carolyn, you know, he bought her a new car, and, well, you know, like I said, I guess everybody's happy. But, uh, I don't really need anything. Right now, I'm trying to just enjoy what I have, and, uh, well, you know, you don't really need to, or I don't really need to be covetous of anyone, but I really would like it. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Shit, if John was to give me a hundred bucks and be like, hey, buddy... I put a few hundred bucks in your bank account just because I can. You know what? I would go see strippers or something. I would really do something frivolous with it. I'd just burn it. I'd just be like, on the fire. Because, you know, you have to kind of respect the source. And, uh, well, it's different from money I had to spend an hour standing around to get or something like that. It's weird to even think that even something like that, you know, falls in the threshold of, uh, work. But, again, I think that, uh, you know, things went my way. You know, I'm happy. That's who I want to be. Happy when things go my way. And when I got those two lucky $2 bills, I knew, you know, I just knew. It's like I do feel lucky. And so, I guess, uh, over and out. <laughs>